my name is Gisela from the channel Inglés para tu vida. Hello class, how are you today? I'm very happy to continue with you. We have more than four, five, I think six videos talking about the present simple tense. I have divided them into parts, part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. Okay, because I consider that it's important that you have this tense very, very, very well fixed in your memory, internalize it as I always said in your mind and now I want to practice with you a regular exercise in present simple that consists on um, completing sentences all right so it says complete the sentences in present simple as I always say but you may say ah oh, well Gisela but we know that's true First of all, whenever you have an examination, whenever you have any kind of exercise in your book, in your school, at university, wherever you are, read the instructions carefully. It's very important that you read instructions because when we read the instructions, we know what we have to do. Sometimes we assume what we have to do and we just start completing the exercise. I remember I had that problem once or twice. Well, yeah, I thought I had to put the correct answer and sometimes I'm asked to do the opposite, to correct the wrong sentence, so, well, it's a mess. So, complete, first of all, before completing, read the instructions. And our instructions say, complete the sentences in present simple. Okay, so we know that we have to complete a simple exercise, we breathe, we relax, <laughs> and after that, have a look at this. This is another important thing. Mm, as a teacher, I have this problem during all the time that I have been teaching students and it is that sometimes they have spaces in blank to complete the sentences and they don't use all these, spa all these spaces that they have to. For example, if you have two spaces, even if you have the verb over there, do not assume that the teacher is thinking to put this verb here. You have to write the verb, no matter if it is repeated, if it is again, you have to write. If you have two spaces, it's because you have to use the two spaces. If you have one space, it's because you have to use one space. Again, if you have two spaces, please write on the two spaces. Number one, it says, where Steve work? First of all, okay, you know you are going to complete in present simple. It's a question, because you have here the question mark, so it's an, it's an interrogative sentence. And I have stiff, stiff, stiff work. Where stiff work? All right. When we are talking about he, she, or it in present simple, we need an auxiliary. We saw that in our previous videos. And the auxiliary is does. Exactly. So I write where does stiff and the verb remains in infinitive. Where does stiff? work. Please don't put anything else. Why? Because the S is here. Where does Steve work? All right. Second sentence. She not speak Chinese. All right. Check. Is it an affirmative sentence? Is it an interrogative sentence? Or is it a negative sentence? We have not. It's a negative sentence. Okay. When it is a negative sentence, I need an auxiliary. But what auxiliary do I need when I have the pronoun she? Doesn't. Now, doesn't is how I pronounce it. How do I write it is a different story. So, she doesn't and the verb speak. Okay. She doesn't speak Chinese. She doesn't speak Chinese. Careful with the spelling of doesn't. Number three. Again, analyzing. Is it affirmative? Is it negative? Is it interrogative? Question mark. It's an interrogative sentence. The subject is you. Be careful with the you and your. We are going to go to that point in a minute. And I don't have a question. I don't have where, when, how. So probably I will have to start with the auxiliary. What is the auxiliary when I talk about you? Do. Very good. The auxiliary is do. Do you. Do you. Verb in infinitive. 
Do you like? Do you like cheese? Very good. Do you like cheese? Excellent. Let's go to number four. Da 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 da. Is it a question? No. Is it negative? No. So it's affirmative. Perfect. When I have an affirmative sentence, I have to check the subject. The subject is he. All right. So, do I say he swim? No, I said he swims. He swims at the beach. Remember that when it is he or she or it, we add s. In some other cases, es. In some other cases, we change the y by ies. And we did this exercise in two or three videos before this one. All right. He swims at the beach. Perfect. Have a look at number five. Is it affirmative? Is it interrogative? Or is it negative? I have not. It's a negative sentence. Okay. I need an auxiliary. What is the auxiliary for the pronoun I? Don't. Because it's negative, right? I don't travel by taxi. I don't travel by taxi. Negative sentence. Good. Number six. Aha! Number six. By the way, this is letter L. Okay? Live. Okay. It says your parents live in London. Negative, affirmative, interrogative. It's interrogative. Now, I don't have you like this one. It's not you. It's your parents. Parents, your parents. Your parents is a pronoun. What is the general pronoun that represents the word your parents? I, you, he, she, it, they, right? So your parents is like if you are talking about they. When we talk about they, we need an auxiliary in order to do the question. And the auxiliary is do. Do your parents live in London? Do your parents live in London? Because your parents is they. Be careful to that. Be careful because your is not the same as you. You is the pronoun. Your we don't know unless that we have another word, another word here. It can be your parents, it can be yours. If it is your sister, is she. If it is your brother, is he. Okay? Number seven. Your sister eat pizza and it's an interrogative sentence because we have the question mark. So we need an auxiliary. An auxiliary for your sister. Your sister is she. What is the auxiliary when we talk about he or she or it? Does. Very good. Does. So it is. Does your sister eat pizza? And we have the same verb in infinitive. Does your sister eat pizza? Mm -hmm. Now in number eight, we have what kind of sentence? Now you're experts. Negative. Excellent. Very good. Negative. Because we, what we have here, not. Pronoun, we. How do we form the negative of this sentence? We don't and the verb in infinitive smoke. We don't smoke and that's it. That is the way that we complete the exercise. Now, recommendations, as I said since the beginning of this lesson, please Read carefully your instructions. Instructions are very useful. Don't go directly to answer the questions, to answer the exercise. Please check the instructions. Second advice, please check if you are talking about interrogative, negative, affirmative. What are you talking about? Check that, right? Recommendation number three, don't get confused by the use of you and the use of your. They are very different. You is a pronoun. Your is not a pronoun. 
Your is an adjective, a possessive adjective. So when we have your, we have to check what comes next. If it is your brother, your sister, your pet, okay, he, she, it. All right? In that case, I have to use the auxiliary if it is a question. Does, if it is negative, does it. If we are talking about your parents, your friends, and it's they, okay, in the, the case of a question, you use do. In the case of negative, we use don't. So be careful with that. All right? And advice number four, remember if you have two spaces in blank is because you have to complete the two spaces. If you have one space, complete one space. But don't do it like this. Where does Steve? And assume that the teacher know that this is the verb that corresponds here because it's not like that. All right? So, what about if you, if you have any problems, any difficulties on this topic, you can write me. Remember, the name of the channel is Inglés para tu vida. You can subscribe directly from your account in Gmail. Uh, my Gmail account is Inglés para tu vida at gmail.com and the Facebook account is Inglés para tu vida. I accept everybody is welcome in Facebook. So, if you have any questions, an exercise, something that you want to share, adapt, whatever you need, please write me. My name is Gisela from Inglés para tu vida. Practice a lot with this exercise, follow the recommendations and see you in our next class to keep on practicing English. Have a beautiful day. Thank you very much. Bye.